Well, Lismore is the only city in the whole world that has a major hospital, a major university, and it doesn't have a rail service. I lived here 20 years ago when we had the train. The surf train was, um, was very, very popular. I've noticed coming back here, we're all disconnected. We're just not so together as we used to be because that brought us together. We have thousands of people coming and saying how ridiculous it is that we don't have the rail service and that they definitely would use it. We do have a lot of elderly people, young people, and people who um, don't have access to cars who need to get around and we have a, a great lack of public transport. It's a, it's a crisis really. I feel that Lismore has really lost a lot because I miss the train. I really need the train in my environment for that freedom because I don't have a car. But even when I had a car, I always used the train. This region is extremely um, well populated and growing all the time. It, it has a very large number of visitors to the region, especially to Byron Bay, which is pretty well halfway along our casino to Mwilumba railway line. The Byron um, Railway Corridor Feasibility Study has been a wonderful help in showing us that it really is quite feasible to bring rail services back as well as a bike path on the side. They've actually found that the best financial outcome is to have both because then for every dollar invested you get a dollar fifty back. The rail um, services are the ones that will really make a difference. Uh, to, to bring other people from other places. If they were able to do day trips along the railway line to come to places like Lismore, that would make a really big difference. Railways definitely are a solution to climate change. Our railway line is the perfect option for our region because it goes through most of the region and would take a very large number of cars off the road. A regular passenger rail service throughout this region would be a great help for a lot of people.